President Museveni visited the home of the late Arunda Nyakairima Monday afternoon in Buziga, March India. As he paid tribute to the legacy of the Internal Affairs Minister and former Army Commander, the President spoke of moments after hearing the news of his death. We came from the bush, many of our soldiers died, mainly because of AIDS. However, Arunda was a disciplined person. That's how he survived and few others. Therefore, I was surprised not only to know that he had died, but he had, that he had died from not from accident. For me, when they said he had died, I thought maybe it was motor accident. Then he said, no, 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 he died in, in the play. He said investigations are currently going on into what caused Nyakarima's death, adding that, I quote, if he had been alone, that would be different. I was relieved to learn that he was with four or five people. This makes it easier to ask what went on. They will be able to tell us what was happening. Other government officials who visited Nyakairima's family include the Prime Minister Dr. Rohakana Rugunda, Defense Minister Crispus Chionga, and the Chief of Defense Forces General Katumba Wamala. Meanwhile, the committee which was set up to organize for the barrier arrangements of the late Internal Affairs Minister General Ronda has finalized funeral arrangements. UPDF spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Padi Ankunda, who is also part of the committee, says Nyakairima's body should arrive in the country on Wednesday. What we can confirm now is that the body of the late Honorable General Ronda Nyakairima will be arriving on Wednesday at 1 p.m. aboard Emirates Airlines. And um, we are hoping that thereafter every other program will fall in place. This followed the delayed autopsy, which had earlier been denied by the hospital authorities in Dubai, where Nyakarima's body is being kept. This took a process because apparently where he is, the policy does not allow for autopsy. So we needed some documentation, uh, which was done. And we are happy that finally the process started. And so we expect a report. Lieutenant Colonel Padi Ankunda also told NTV that on arrival, the remains of the late Nyakairima will be carried by generals in the UPDF. The plan is that uh, his casket will be handled by generals and the chief of personnel and administration is taking care of that, there should be no problem whatsoever. General Ronda's body will then lie in state in parliament on Thursday, where MPs will pay their last respect to the career soldier. We have organized national prayers for the fallen general at Coloro Airstrip on Friday. Barrio will take place in Rukunjiri on Saturday the 19th, and we say bye to the general. A public condolence book has been availed for Ugandans to pay tribute to his memory. Flags at different government installations are flying at half-mast. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.